a week ago, I've um, uploaded a video test of GH5 Mark II in low light. So right here, I've placed all the settings that I've used. Yeah, the aperture is also 1.4. Um, it's the max aperture I can use on a Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens. Um, and the uh, ISO I've used is 640. And I've put down the frame per second to 24 frame per second so that I can use the shutter speed of 50. So it will um, receive more light in its sensor and then I've used the vlog L then I graded it this is the one with noise reduction so some people are curious on how I've reduced the noise of the this clip um, I've reduced it using the venture resolve um, noise reduction tool so as you can see, I've just um, created this simple node structure for this test because this is not really um, so for meant for production. I just wanted to test it out. It's really dark at this time. Uh, I can see the car, but it's not as bright as this image. You can see just the snow, the white snow with a bit of... Um, yellow in it and not the whole car unlike um, the one the GH5 Mark II captured right here um, if you're new to um, a no node structure this might be very um, confusing to you but if you know um, the venture of you know what uh, how um, this software reads the nodes so it reads the nodes um, from left to right if you have a parallel node like this, it will read this node at the same time and then combine it here before proceeding to the next node. So this is just a simple node structure. Um, I've, I always put my noise reduction in the front so that the, um, they will, uh, this nodes will process an image that has noise already reduced so um, if i'm going to disable this you can see lots of noise right here let me do it full screen okay can i turn off oh i can so if i turn off if i if i turn on the noise reduction you can see that the noise is greatly reduced but um, in this shot, it actually backfired a bit because I wanted to show more of the snow. But the the snow the snowflakes will appear as noise for the noise reduction tool. So it the software will read that will read them as noise, and then they're going going to smoothen it out. So, yeah, it, uh, I'm not actually happy that it happened, but it's just a test. If I'm going to, um, if this is a production level color grading, I would reshoot this sh scene and put more light so that I won't use a lot of uh, noise reduction that will remove these beautiful snowflakes from the scene so yeah let's go to the noise reduction process which is very very easy i just went here and uh, let's reset this just go to the first node and then in the click frames yeah I, I choose five and then just leave this settings Sometimes I use better, but uh, most of the time I use faster. And then um, you adjust this, this part. 
it will adjust at the same time. As you can see, if I exaggerate it, all the snowflakes are gone. And when I remove it, the snowflakes are there together with the noise. So I just have to be very gentle with it. I remembered I placed it in 18, which I kind of regret. Actually, I wanted to show more snowflakes. I don't mind having um, a bit of noise in my image if I can tell my story better that it was a s snowy day, a snowy night, I mean. And then after doing that, okay, I also um, adjust this part. Um, make sure to unlink the two because you don't want this to get adjusted. You just need the chroma. You just put it up and let's exaggerate it. When you exaggerate it, uh, as you can see, the there have been color discolor. Um, the, there have been the, some discoloration in the image. So just be very gentle with it. Um, twenty five is too much. I guess twelve will do. Okay, so yeah, just that and look at the image with, without, with, without, no, no, nice reduction. So yeah, it's just that simple when you're using the Vinci result.